And we're back. Uh, this time, since I already have a solution for these errors, uh, I know that I've already fixed part one. And so yeah, all you missed was uh, entering a glass tube and then pausing halfway through the glass tube. So yeah, we were on our way to... Uh, not this way. Yeah, weird that I'm suddenly getting these errors two weeks in a row, though. Might have to, like, update my video drivers or update OBS or something. But anyway, we're playing Shantae. We're not discussing OBS. Um, I think I had like 13 minutes to go in a standard length episode. So let's get to that warp and get to the ghost dog because we got the bracelets in part one. Oh, I went too far. Alright, actually, I should probably get to a town, spend my money, and then get to the ghost dog, because we've got, like, almost two-thirds of the money cap. Might be a good thing to not be capped on. Next rank of the orbiting things, okay. Invincibility. So just need 450 more to buy all the spells, then I start buying auto potions. Or regular potions. Alright. Are there really no more levels of that? Hmm. Anyway. Orbiting Swords, probably gonna add a lot of damage during my next Risky Boots fight or something. Although, like, I feel like all the Risky Boots fights have been about the same, so they've just been getting easier. Because we've been scaling our stats faster than she's been scaling hers. Like, I'm sure her, like, damage or HP or both have been going up. But, like, it's not enough. Alright, yeah, this was the correct warp. Hey there, dog. You brought the bracelets. May I sniff them? Yes. They smell fine, but I reek of lies and deception. For you see, I am not truly a ghost dog. In life, I was a guardian genie. No way! My job was to protect this island. But when the Seven Sirens came, I was unable to save my people. I sank the Sirens' vessel, and using my magic, buried it deep within the island itself. Thinking I'd trapped the Sirens for good, I took their power rod and broke it into two parts. I hid the pieces in the mine, was where only my quake magic could find them. This way, the Sirens could never again power their vessel. So... so... Yes. You have learned the secret of this island. Now we'll combine the two bracelets to form the power rod once more. Take it. You got drained power rod. Ah. Though I had them trapped, I was not powerful enough to defeat the sirens. I battled their leader, the seventh siren, and lost. All I could do is rob her of her physical form before I fell. For many years, I have remained down below as a ghost. 
In all that time, I've watched helplessly as the sirens lured my people down into the depths to meet their fate. I want you to put an end to this madness. Take that power rod and reactivate the siren's vessel. Sail it away. Take it someplace where the sirens won't be able to harm anyone ever again. Only you can do this. Now I will remain a mangy dog. Achievement unlocked. That's the spirit. In its current state, the power rod is useless. You must restore power to the rod somehow, and then take it to the control room directly above us. Huh? Restore the rod's power. How do I do that? Perhaps a person with a scientific mind can lend assistance. Really? I don't just do my lightning dance? A scientific mind. I'm gonna do the lightning dance anyway, because it would be hilarious if that worked. Oop, <laughs> maybe just climb through the screen transition. Alright, so where's the... the sunken crew? <laughs> Whatever they go by. Um, honestly, this might just be a good play time to fill in bits of the map that I've never gotten. I've got almost every power. Just missing one fusion coin. So let's check out the right end of light blue. Actually, if I just walked right instead of warping right, wasn't there a room to use Quake in? Might have been somewhere else. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's that one room extension to spaces right of the warp I just came from. Also, this was the wrong warp. I wanted light blue, but took the one on the right. I just needed bottom right. Alright, let's go through more of everyone's favorite time, loading screens. Do what maybe I should have done in the first place. Although, I think once I do investigate that one room, I just want to come back. Although I'll already be in light blue. Or no, I won't. I'll be in dark blue still. So it won't be any extra loading screens to backtrack to the warp after I investigate this room that's right, right up. Or no, it's just here. Oh, but it wasn't this one. I have mistaken the location. Darn. Trying to see where else... Oh, maybe it was that spot in orange, actually. I know it's like a room I go up and there's immediately a dead end. I don't want to go all the way over to orange right now. Especially because it's like not next to a warp. I think they should have colored the little dots in the warp room the same as the map zone. That would have helped a little. So yeah, I guess I never went this way because I couldn't go underwater. So is this just a free gems room? I mean, it's kind of fun to do it by swimming around, but did you really have to lock me in? Wow, it was a secret. Nugget. I wonder who the next card trader is. Because there hasn't been a new town. Oh, maybe there'll be a sky town. Up in the top of the map. Didn't realize how close I was to another zone. Alright, let's at least connect it up on the map. And yeah, I missed spots down in light blue. Although, let's just keep going up. I don't feel like 
going back down again. Salmon? I might not actually be capped on that. Oh, I have new magic. Um, hmm. I didn't see a form that necessarily felt quake-like. Maybe it was red? Let's see, purples see invisible, greens regrowth, yellows electric. Yeah, this must be for red. Even though it's more of a brown for the actual... Okay, achievement a lot. Slime time. Yeah, the actual icon when you're dancing is more of a brown than a red, in my opinion. Alright, another place where I need the ability to swim. Uh, why did I come here? What? Top right, left, top middle, bottom? Was it? Do I need that sequence somewhere? Visible here. That just connects up to gray zone. This is very plausibly just for all these jars. This space is a little weird. the scientifically minded person is going to be Techno Baron. We haven't seen any sign of him. No, but yeah, let's let's check with the metal fish crew since we're here. you have an exclamation mark. Help, our fellow scientific mind is lost. Oh. Sensors say he's somewhere in the flooded halls of the science laboratory on the east side. I'll mark the locations on your map. Alright. I was kind of just there, you know. Alright. Let's make the most of being in gray zone, though, and head left before diving down. That's been solved, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's get down here on our map. Guess I should be looking for a save point about now. Pretty much nothing of interest in this waterway. We sure do have a lot of ways to move around the island now. Okay, yeah, this is also unexplored. <laughs> it splits, sure. Just getting a lot of gems in here.
Glad I went that way first. I wonder if I quake where those people were digging. Oh man, are those gonna be like all over? Achievement unlocked, hidden treasure. The way Shantae said sea frog, I, I at first thought she said zebra. I was like, I don't think that's the zebra power. recognize this enemy type from this game. But I think it's been in like every Shantae game. When do you become vulnerable? Never? Okay. Alright. Oh, I don't want to die here. I should probably check what the archer card does. Rockets consume less magic. Okay. Also known as useless because magic is free? The doors did lock, right? I'm not just collecting these to get money. Maybe I am. But it is a decent income. Alright, we're back in here. Make sure to get this room fully explored this time. Okay. And of course, there's an exit in the bottom right. Uh oh. Thought he was gonna shoot. I'm guessing this isn't going to move out of the way, and it's, yeah, it's a shortcut out. Sure, I'm using my dances a lot here. Death water. With the universal symbol of being deadly. Also known as Skulls. Alright, yeah, you're you're really making sure I have the quake power here. Uh wait. What? Lightning? Invisible? It wasn't real. Uh, of course, we've got to get all the powers involved here. Not that I mind getting a few hit points back, and it was just gems. I seem to have tripped some sort of security device. I'm stuck. Stay put. I'll get you out. Did you try hitting this button? You're safe now. Oh, thank goodness. Must have tripped some kind of security device. It was following a strange energy reading that led me to this room. It seems to be coming from this small port in the wall. Huh. 
With the right tool, we could siphon energy from here. Oh, can I see that unpowered rod? Yes. This rod looks like it would fit perfectly. Could it be some kind of fuel container? Let's plug it in and sh find out, shall we? It worked! That rod is now pulsing with enormous amounts of power. I'm not kidding, that's a lot of juice. Please be careful with it. Alright, we have obtained juice. Our scans picked up a control room in the deep sea zone. Perhaps you should take the power rod there. I'll mark the locations on your map. Oh. That's not where I was expecting. Alright. Uh, there's a save point near there. I'll head there, but then take the save to... Right, invisible guy. Because it is time to save. Let's see, yeah, heading to this warp room, warping to dark blue, left, up, right, save. Now that's gonna be it for the video. This one's dark blue. So, uh, yeah, if, if, the, if OBS crashes again, I'm just gonna not start it back up. Because, like, you know what's happening. Feel free to, like, close the video. Yeah, yeah, I can... That does seem to be a faster way of going through those tunnels than spamming Newt. Okay, still going the right way. Right is the right way, even. Right, you can't duck under that. It hasn't changed since the last hundred times I've tried to duck under it. Mysterious. Unless it's a quake. Nope. Probably need the last fusion. Save. That's it for this part. See ya.